Hey guys, welcome to El Pilar Orchids. Thanks for checking in. Today we're gonna pollinate this Paphio Petalum. Uh, yeah, this is the main star. We're, we're really happy that we were able to get this to bloom. This is a Paphio Petalum Parisii. And this was uh, discovered and described all the way back in like 1892. You don't see kind of a lot of people growing the, the multifloral paths. I don't know why, I, I think they're great. Now we were really lucky to get an older plant. This plant had three, three fans when it came to us. So uh, that was about uh, three years ago. Uh, and we've been growing this plant in semi-hydroponics the whole time we've owned it. Now a quick backstory on that, uh, I repotted it poorly when, when I repotted it the first time and there was a bunch of air spaces down in the roots and basically, um, yeah, we, we had big root loss. I think we were also watering too much in the winter time, maybe wanted to try to keep it a little bit drier and only flush it once a week in the winter now. Uh, but as it is, we're back to watering and uh, flushing it twice a week with semi-hydroponics. Uh, it's getting a new growth, so we'll kind of show a close-up of that, uh, hopefully as well, and some close-ups of the flowers. The main thing we want to do tonight, though, is pollinate this plant. Uh, so we're going to try to cross-pollinate the Parisii here with... And I'll grab the other plant. Now we got to switch. Okay. So now we're going to try cross-pollinating it with the Limianum here. I don't know how this light is going to look. It's going to be like, is it too bright there? Man, the sun is crazy. It's early in the morning. I picked the wrong time to try to film this. This is the Paphiopetalum limianum. This plant, interestingly, this plant was described in 1982. So uh, yeah, the Parisii 1892, this one 1982. This plant is really vigorous. So uh, really quick, before we get into the pollination, question for people who are maybe starting to breed or curious about why people breed orchids, like why am I choosing these ones to try to pollinate? Well, first of all, like I always say, they're in bloom. Second of all, uh, I think the, the the Parisii is probably our favorite orchid ever, at least my personal favorite. I don't know why. I think uh, there's something about it that's quite special. And uh, yeah, I used to say like whichever whichever orchid is in bloom is my favorite orchid. Uh, now I think I have a favorite and that's the Parisii. So I really want to try to um, make something with it. But also, you know, one of the things that we are doing just because of our situation and uh, we're new to hybridizing orchids. And so we really want to just breed for vigor. So the, the more vigorous the plants, uh, the more likely we are and we'll, we want to breed them. Now, as far as like, outstanding genes or like named cultivars or all of this like i think uh, generally for me as long as the the flower and the plant exhibit the the uh, true characteristics of the species and good characteristics um, then i feel like okay i mean yes uh, anytime you can get a named cultivar that's better for breeding uh, but in general, I mean, I love the flowers, especially on the Limianum. Now, yes, it's, I think possibly like we'll be reducing the uh, length of the petals if we cross pollinate these two. So what's the plan for them? Well, we're just going to take the pollinia from the Limianum and we're going to put that uh, onto the Parisii. We're just going to save the pollinia from the Parisii. We're not going to take and do the reciprocal cross because we already, we've, we've tried pollinating this one. It's probably impossible to see in this light. There's, an, there's a swelling ovary here. The flower has dropped off. There used to be another flower here, so it's put out four and there's at least one or two or maybe three more flowers that are just starting to come out. So it's a sequential bloomer, really vigorous grower, um, amazing flowers. I mean, these flowers are beautiful. Uh, uh, yeah, so I think it's a good candidate for breeding. We'll see. I mean, you never know and we never know and we really have no idea what we're doing. Uh, we're all, you know, 
It's like the blind leading the blind over here. Welcome to El Pilar. You know, subscribe. Let's get right to it. I'm excited. Here's the uh, Parisii up close. It's, I always do that. Stab it with the toothpick. Just stop doing that. You can see the polynia, the end of the toothpick. And a quick biology lesson. The front face there, here, is called the staminode of the flower. And I love it that there's like, I think you can kind of see this little horn sticking out and the, and the top of the staminode there. Uh, that's an umbo. Umbo. I love that. Uh, name like umbro but without the r oh and yeah really cool feature too is look at these little like spiky when i first saw the the first uh petals come out i thought there was a fly on it at first so the first one of these i saw i was like trying to scrape it off and i'm like why isn't it coming off and then i realized oh but this is part of the plan and yeah now it's got a bunch of them they're really cool like little hidden features you got to look close to see them they look like a row of little insects crawling up there. They're so cool. The first step is to remove the, the pollinia from the back here. Now, then you have to place that pollinia or, well, the pollinia from uh, the Lemionum, we got to place on what's called the stigma, which you can actually see here. It's behind this staminode. It's on the back face. So I got to reach up in with the pollen or reach down from the top with the other pollen and try to stick it on there. Uh, it's kind of sticky. So yeah, that's the stigma, the sticky stigma. Just uh, the just the, the shape of these, I think they'll make a nice cross if it's successful. We'll see. So let's get right to it. We'll pull the pollinian off. I've got mm, a little storage envelope ready, labeled with today's date. Sorry, we're in Germany and now I now I put the date first and the month second. I know that's a bit confusing for my American friends. I'm sorry. I just am in German mode now. Uh, let's get to it. Uh, let's pull them off and put them in there. So now I got to put this on the tripod. Try to put the coffee filter, open it up underneath just in case they pop off. Sometimes they'll go down. Um, and the, the Parisia here actually is known for self-pollination apparently in the wild. They, they can, I want to make sure I really get these out good without kind of crushing them. It's really stuck. These are the oldest two flowers. I may need like tweezers. It's like stuck in there really good. I don't want to damage anything or self-pollinate it. There it goes. Wow. Okay. Those are really stuck in there. Right down into my coffee filter. And now I got to get the one from the other side. Hopefully this one comes out easier. Dang. I did wash my hands really good before this, by the way. I don't like, because sometimes I feel like I need to use my hands to touch the pollen. Don't go that way. No, don't smash apart. Oh, that's what I didn't want to have happen. There's, so there was a tiny little piece. And see, I, get, I did get, what's it gonna go? I did get the second piece off, but a tiny little piece of this broke off. Now, thankfully it was at the top of the like stigma so i don't think it was on the sticky face but i can maybe i can fish it out i don't want to push it down in there anyway yeah i did get it out all right so now the next one let's see if you can see this guy dang it i love these pedals but man they're making it really hard to, to film this thing how am i gonna do this uh, let's move the camera now maybe you can see let's pull this aside so you see the 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 little yellow thing there. That's the pollinia. I guess I don't really need to worry about them popping off because they're... Okay. There it is. Down in. Now I got three of them. Where, where are they? There they are. It's delicate. Oh, that one came right off. Beautiful. Look at that. That one was... Oh, there it is. That was the easiest one. All right, now I'm going to store these. Got the date of collection. 
Just fold it up. No, but when you, you don't want to crush those, so it's just like gently seal the envelope. I don't want to crush them. Now I need a new fresh toothpick because if there's any pollen on there, little grains, I don't want them possibly going in. So now I need to take the pollen off the limianum. Probably we'll use four different toothpicks for this and I guess I'll just take the pollen from the oldest two flowers. Mm, they've been open for a couple weeks. I think it's okay. Hopefully they come off easy. Okay, so there's that one. There it is. So there's the first one you can see stuck on the end there. Other side, beautiful. Came right out. Can you see it? Yep, there it is. Next flower, next pollinia. Right out. Can you see it? Yep, the last one on the far side over here. You probably can't even see that. Oh, went into the back. Don't fall down. There it is. So, I have four of them now. Here, I'll show you. There they are. All four. You can see them on the ends of all four of those toothpicks. And now they're going to go on to the bottom two flowers of the Parisii. I'm not sure how I'm going to get it down into the stigma. It's always a, a thing. Now, these are kind of visible, so I think I can maybe... Hopefully you can see this. If you can see, like you can kind of pull the pouch back a little bit and expose the little green tissue there. See how there's like a second little uh, spur coming off back inside. It's on the back face of that inside back here that I have to stick the pony on. All right, let's give it a shot from the top. I think I can bend it back enough. But maybe it can go in. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully I got that. Hopefully you can see that. I, I hope so. Anyway. Alright, taking the second one. I'm just going to do the same thing. Might have been too high up. I think that was too high up. Okay, well now I moved him down to the middle. Right, I'm gonna do a better job on the second one. Yeah, so. Alright, there, it's stuck. Now I'll do the next one. Let me try it from the... it more. Let's see where I'm going with this. Right on the back. I pulled it off a little. Stick it up there. Okay. Well, there's, I think, Polonia where it needs to go on these bottom two flowers right here. We'll see. In good positive news, we have had our first germination. It was a phalaenopsis. So in a foul cross, we've had our first successful germination out of 10. So for various reasons, uh, now finally at least something. It doesn't look too awful great and it's kind of slow, but hey, we'll take it. And even if we get a couple plants, I'm super happy. Thanks for checking in, guys. We hope you're having a good one. And uh, yeah, we will see you back here at El Pilar soon.